It's essentially a removable clear mold that uh, straightens your teeth over time. Teeth. Your teeths. <laughs> what? Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, I suggest that you get some snacks and some tea because this video is going to be an absolute whopper. We are talking all of the beauty procedures and treatments that I've tried and which I would recommend. So we have the dip dye hair, nails, Invisalign, facial laser, body laser, absolutely everything. I'm so excited. Uh, I cannot take credit for this idea though. I saw it first on Victoria's channel, In The Fro, uh, and I really enjoyed that video. Two things before I start. Number one, a lot of the procedures that I'm talking about today are done in salon. So make sure that you pick somewhere reputable and you always get patch tests because we all want to be safe here. Number two, I try a lot of beauty procedures and treatments um, because I think it's fun. That's how I came to be here on YouTube. That being said, you do not need any treatment or procedure in order to be beautiful because you are beautiful exactly the way you are. You is kind, you is smart, you is important. So let's start with facials. I always thought <laughs> that facials were something for like celebrities and famous people, not people like me. And also I'm really fastidious about my skincare so I don't see how I can benefit from a facial. Anyway, so I was chatting to my mate Chloe Morello, you might know her little YouTuber. She raves on and on about Face Plus Medispa. I'm open-minded, I'm gonna give this a go. Eating my words, from the first uh, appointment that I had with them, I just felt so much better informed about my skin. So my facialist looked at my face and she was like, dude, you are really dry in more professional terms than that. And that really helped me going forward, you know, picking foundations and picking skincare. I typically get the enzyme facial, which is just like a refresher. It makes your skin look bright and fresh and smooth instantly, but there's no downtime. So it's a great sort of pre-party treatment. Would I recommend facials? Absolutely. You know, keep an ear out. What are the great facialists near you? Also, you don't have to go super frequently, if only once a year, just to have an expert sort of assess where your skin is at. Okay, let's like shift pace a little bit and move on to the body. Laser hair removal, increasingly popular nowadays. Essentially, you have sessions, I think it's about six weeks apart in a salon. Your hair becomes uh, finer and finer with every session and eventually, hopefully, you have permanent removal of hair. I had this done professionally when I was about 19, so some six years ago now. These were my thoughts. Number one, it hurts. It absolutely does hurt. And that's coming from someone who has, I think, a pretty solid pain tolerance. Number two, it's pricey, or at least the place I went to was really spendy. And number three, and this is just in my experience, but it always takes more sessions than they tell you. So it ends up being a much bigger cost than you anticipated. And for that reason, I stopped at six sessions. I just wasn't willing to splash any more cash. Would I recommend laser hair removal in a salon? Yes, I would. It absolutely does work. Um, just be prepared to spend a little bit more than you anticipate. <laughs> so a few months ago, Braun contacted me and they're like, hey, we've got this new at-home IPL laser hair removal system. Is that something that you would like to try? And I was like, Yes, like let's get this job done. It's only taken me six or something years. So this is what it looks like. It has these two sensors on the head here. So it will not operate until it's made uh, correct contact with the skin. So there's no risk of you using it wrong. It's super simple to use. You plug it in. Actually, I might show you this. Give me a sec. So once it's on, make sure that the area that you're planning to treat has been shaved. That's the same as in salon IPL. And then you make direct contact with the skin, look away and that's literally it. If you hold the button down, it will continually flash so that you can kind of slide it up your leg easy peasy. Okay, let's talk about the pain or rather the lack of pain. If we consider like a scale of say zero to waxing, I think most of us have tried waxing, I would describe this as a one. It's like a slight warm pulse. So I've been using it now for just over two months. Uh, you can use it anywhere on the body, even on the face if you like. I chose to test on the armpits because that's where I have the most hair aside from my actual head. So I thought it would be a good place to trial it. In the first week, I used it every day. And then for the following weeks, I used it once a week. Does it work? In my experience, it absolutely does. So I used to shave my armpits like every day. Is this too much information? <laughs> 
Potentially, uh, we're all friends here. And now I would say that I shave my armpits once a week. Just the hair grows very slowly and very fine. I'm gonna report back after many, many, many months um, to let you know if I managed to finally achieve, you know, total permanent hair removal. But for the moment, I'm super excited about this. You know, it's not a cheap product, but you get what you pay for and it's a hell of a lot cheaper than the salon experience that I paid for. It probably takes more sessions, but you can do it at home in your own bathroom, uh, which is convenient if maybe you want to do your bikini line. Yeah, I think it's like a fabulous tool if you're you know, a busy person, but you still want that kind of treatment. Would I recommend the Braun IPL system? 100% yes. Let's talk about hair. So many of you have asked me how I achieve these sort of pastel tips. Right now they're a coppery pink, but I've had like vibrant purple, pastel purple, pastel pink. I had a light teal. Uh, a gray, I think it's a lot of fun. So this kind of effect will always require bleach unless you have platinum hair sprouting out of your scalp. I go to uh, Edwards & Co in Sydney because they use Olaplex. Now I don't pretend to understand it all. From my understanding, Olaplex is an additive to bleach which helps to uh, retain the hair's natural integrity through the ble bleaching process. <laughs> Whoa, what? Did that make sense? Essentially, it stops your hair from breaking. That, that's the important bit. <laughs> so once your hair has been adequately lifted, then you can go crazy with your vibrant purples and your pastel pinks or whatever your heart desires. Would I recommend pastel tips slash dip dyed hair slash fashion colors? Sure, why not? Life is too short. I know that when I first spoke about getting this done, everyone was like, <gasps> no bleach. And thank you for the concern, but my hair is in perfect condition. I haven't had any breakage at all. Although <laughs> I probably shouldn't take credit for that. That credit should go to Edwards & Co because they really know hair. So let's talk about laser for broken capillaries. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you would have heard me complain about the red band that kind of comes across my nose and onto the apples of my cheeks. I was looking in a magnifying mirror one day do not recommend that you do that at all. I could see a lot of tiny kind of capillaries, like little red strokes. So I thought, let's try some laser for broken capillaries and see if that'll help the overall redness. The session was like no big deal at all. It took about 15 minutes. There was no pain for me at all. Uh, I had no downtime. I think it depends on the severity of the broken capillaries that you're treating though. From the very first session, my skin just looked clearer. That's the only way I can describe it. It just looked clearer. Uh, I still have a few sessions left and at the end I hope to do a really good before and after shot to really show you guys. I go to Dr. Naomi in Paddington. I chose her because uh, Sharon goes there and has only good things to say and I totally concur. They are just so professional and knowledgeable and lovely. Would I recommend laser for broken capillaries? Yes, I totally would. Just keep in mind that if, like me, you are genetically predisposed to broken capillaries, this is something that you're going to have to maintain, maybe like yearly appointments, because your body just wants to keep producing those suckers. So let's talk about nails. You might not notice, but I actually have acrylic nails. They're just very, very short. I do not get them for length, I get them for strength, because my natural nails are shocking and they just won't hold nail polish. I've said this before, nail polish on acrylic nails never ever chips, ever. So I go every four, five, six weeks to like my local professional, nowhere special, and I ask them to give me really short acrylics that are very thin so that they taper to my natural nail. And then as they grow out, I'll just paint them at home. In terms of damage, acrylic nails in my experience only really damage your natural nail when you have them removed. So if you do need to have them removed, you ask for them to be soaked off um, because pried off is, first of all, really uncomfortable and super duper damaging. So would I recommend acrylic nails? Absolutely. It was one of my 2015 favorites. I would totally recommend it for uh, weak, brittle nails that won't hold nail polish. If you have naturally strong, wonderful nails, there's really no point, is there? <laughs> If you have great nails, and I would say just get a gel or a shellac. I have tried that many times before. My natural nail is so soft that it bends and it causes little cracks in the gel and shellac. So 
unfortunately not well suited to me. Also I have tried SNS. Uh, it broke within three days on my nails. So I think acrylics are my best option. It wasn't until I actually sat down and compiled this list that I realized how many things I've actually tried. So next on the list, teeth. This is not exactly a beauty treatment, but I do have Invisalign to correct some crowding on my bottom jaw and also some bite issues. It looks like a clear removable mold and over time it straightens your teeth like braces. So the pros, they're pretty invisible unless you are really looking for them if you know what I mean. Uh, you can remove them like I do for my videos or maybe for a special event. Uh, they don't really affect your speech. I'm actually going to pop mine in now so that you can hear me talk with them. So I've popped them in now and you can hear there's maybe a very slight lisp. Nobody mentions my lisp, so it can't be that bad. <laughs> and now for the cons. I'm not going to sugarcoat this at all. Invisalign requires some real discipline. You have to wear them 22 out of 24 hours of the day. So if you are a snacker, you got to give that up. If you constantly sip coffee throughout the day, you got to stop that too. The only thing you can consume while the Invisalign are in is water. The second con, they can make your teeth tender, but that's like braces. Any teeth moving uh, device will probably hurt your teeth. I go to uh, Dr. Sadi in Balmain, Sydney. He's just my family doctor and I really like that guy. Like he's so chill and cool and he just takes all the anxiety out of dentist visits. I would totally recommend him. Would I recommend Invisalign? Yes, I would. Just be aware that you might have to make some compromises in your day and make a promise to yourself at the beginning that you're going to be disciplined with the 22 out of 24 hours because it's actually much harder than it sounds. <laughs> Lucky last procedure, eyelash extensions. I have done a video all about eyelash extensions, uh, all of the comparison shots and whatnot, so I'll link it somewhere here in a card and in the description box, and let's just keep this short. I loved it. It was like waking up every day and just feeling really pretty and put together, and I actually found that I wore much less makeup as a consequence. I personally wouldn't have them done permanently, because as part of what I do here on YouTube, I apply and remove a lot of makeup every single week and I just couldn't be as gentle as I would need to be to keep the lash extensions in good condition. For holidays though, perfect. I want to get them next time I go back overseas and I will go back to Love Those Lashes in Paddington. They did a great job last time. No damage to my natural lashes at all. Would I recommend eyelash extensions? Yes, I would. Uh, again, make sure you go to someone really reputable because I've heard some pretty bad horror stories. And also I would say that they're best suited to people who don't wear a lot of eye makeup to begin with. I did mention eyebrows in this video because I actually do my own. I have a theory that waxes and threaders are attempting to steal my eyebrows. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know what beauty treatments and procedures have you tried that you felt were really worthwhile? Next, I would love to get some remedial massage. I had a traditional Balinese massage in Bali. Oh my God, it was so blissful. If you have any questions about the treatments that I spoke about today, by all means, leave them in the comment section. I would love to chat to you. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye-bye. Today, what are we doing, Sharon? We are talking about some of our holy grail drugstore products. So we've each chosen five products. I don't know what Sharon has chosen. She doesn't know what I've chosen. Mm -mm. So it's going to be a surprise for mm -mm. all of us. Mm -mm. Sharon, as the guest, would you like to go?